Hey guys, welcome back to Saltfish TV. Fortunately, you won't be seeing my ugly mug in this episode, but you're gonna be able to see my ugly sump. You guessed it, water change on the K900. Plus, I'm gonna talk about the clear and how I'm gonna make it more efficient because right now, I'm going through about a roll every three days, which is not ideal. So stay tuned for that. All right, so we got accumulation of all kinds of crap, fish waste, uneaten food that got bypassed and went over the filter stock overflow area. So I'll be using this simple Lowe's bucket and this gravel cleaner that I picked up off of Amazon. And you squeeze the top and it creates a suction and it's very handy and very neat. I like it. Now one reason why I'm just taking the water out for the water change from the sump is to clean it out because I was having issues with high nitrates and some sometimes phosphates but it's mostly high nitrates and a lot of times it's because of all this waste that accumulates down in the sump area. Oh gosh, I'm not a genius, am I? So unfortunately I'm not using the right tool for the job. I should be using my motorizer powered cleaner extractor gravel cleaner because look but eventually got to it and it's super satisfying to watch it just get sucked up and go away but as i was saying it's really important to clean your sump every once in a while especially if you're having high nutrient issues uh, this could be your cause because after i cleaned out this sump and did a water change about 10 percent water change my nitrates went down to a nice level of five. I like to keep them between five and 10 and they were hanging around 15-ish to 20. Uh, just a little too much for my liking because I'm having some hair algae issues and it's actually helping it now. A little too late to get that one out, huh? All right, the job's done. Sump is clean or cleaner. Wasn't able to get every last particle, unfortunately, because, you know, I was smart and decided to use a suction one that blows out and in. All right, so this next minute is going to be showing you my reef cat. She just goes nuts for this hose. Out of curiosity, do you have a cat that goes nuts when you do water changes? Alright guys, now the water change is done. I just want to briefly talk about this clear drop-in 4. Uh, so with the Cade stock sump, as you can see there's a hole in the sump for an overflow for the uh, filter sock overflow. So that when the filter socks get full of crap, literally, it can just overflow into the sump and keep the water flow going. Uh, the only issue with that is the clear needs at least an inch and a half of clearance. As you can see, I had to lower the sensor down all the way to the bottom of it so that it would actually actuate and work. But it's eating through rolls just about every three days, which is not feasible when they're supposed to at least last almost a month. So what my fix is gonna be is get a nice piece of acrylic and seal it up a bit so that the water level can actually raise up higher. thus helping the rolls last a lot longer. So stay tuned for that video. All right, guys, well, that'll do it for this video. Just want to say I appreciate you for tuning in and watching. And if you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. Give me that like. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And thank you for returning back if you're a return subscriber. And if you're new, stay tuned.